Today I'm going to show you how to create a Bugs Bunny-like effect, and it's actually something I've wanted to do for a little while, but hadn't quite figured out the right way to approach it until I saw a screener earlier today by Stephanie. And uh, what it's going to allow me to do is have my character overlapping the background in one place and going underneath it in the other. And the reason I call it the Bugs Bunny effect is because uh, I remember when I was a kid the Bugs Bunny ears on the Warner Brothers screen went out over the hole Bugs Bunny would stick his head out through there. So now I've actually opened up PowerPoint I'm going to show you how to do this. Now first, uh, this is the character that I'm going to have. I have him already on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and hide him. And uh, he is uh, a PNG with a transparent background and that really helps. So the first thing we're going to do is insert a rectangle and once we've done that we need to color that the right way so I want that to be red and no background and let's create that hole that's going to be there if I hold shift when I'm creating that circle it'll keep it um, in the right proportions so let's make the hole that big and I'm going to want to turn it white so I can remove the background in a minute here. Uh, a quick way to line them up is to use the alignment. I ha uh, have them on my quick access toolbar, but here I'm going to align them center and align middle, and that gets everything centered. And actually I want it, I want it a little bit bigger, so let me go ahead and click off that. Hold shift, make it bigger. That looks better to me. So let's align it again. So now I need to bring these out of PowerPoint and then back in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on them both, cut, and then paste special, and insert it as an image. Now I can go in to format that shape and set a transparent background. So I'm going to set my transparent color as white, and uh, if you were to see my character back in there, you'd see that I have that transparency. That's pretty cool. I didn't know about doing this until today. Um, let's get Anthony out of there. And now we need to format this. So let's go ahead and duplicate it. And line that up. And go ahead and crop it. Uh, before I tried doing this as two halves and I was getting a weird line across the middle. So I found that doing a full one and then cropping it worked better. So let's go to format, crop, crop it to the halfway point, and now I have my bottom one. Let's crop that down to the bottom. And I find it's helpful to name them, so let's go ahead and call this one bottom, and this one top. And now it's okay to show Anthony. Um, and what I'm going to want to do is work with the layers. So let's move Anthony up to the top let's see what that looks like. Alright, not quite there. What I want is this bottom one to be covering them. So this one that I've called bottom, I need to bring that up above Anthony. And there we go. Now it looks like his head is poking out. Uh, I'm pretty excited at how easy that was to do. Um, there wasn't really a good solution within PowerPoint to do that. So this is what the finished product looks like with the fly-in. I hope you enjoyed that lesson, found it useful. Uh, I'll be posting some other lessons soon. As always, feel free to visit elearningart.com if you're interested in checking out any characters, lessons, backgrounds, or whatever. Thanks so much for your time.